Hey there, I thought I would show you a little trick I learned to quickly sync up my audio with my video for video songs. Now, if you record the video for your video song, I suggest you just set up your camera, set up your lighting, hit record on the camera and then go ahead and record the audio takes. Um, I wouldn't recommend hitting stop and record, you know, between every every take on the camera because then you have to worry about two record buttons, you know, one for video, one for audio and chances are you're gonna forget to record the video and you're gonna kick yourself for not having video of that of the great and, and final vocal take, for example. So what you see here is our video take for the vocal. So you can actually see me setting up the camera here and she's practicing the first line. So you can see the first line is Beachy Dreams. Okay, this is me hitting record. And you can actually see the recording software. I'm using Logic going on right there on the TV. So you see the bottom lane is recording and we're gonna hear vocals any second now. I'm gonna pause it as soon as I hear it. There we go. So so she starts singing Beachy Dreams. I'm gonna hit I. What this does, it, it puts a marker here. And you know, you can press I and O for input and output marker. So I just set a marker here and I'm gonna set another one there. So this little piece of video is just, you know, Beachy Dreams. So basically we got the first line of the song. Then, um, you know, I recommend doing the whole audio work before you start doing any of the video work uh, in terms of editing. So you have this nice little mix down right here. I'm gonna activate the waveforms. So you have the whole song here in audio. You know, nicely compressed and anything, so it's it's loud enough. And at the beginning we have a little guitar intro. So we're gonna do the same thing like the video. We're gonna search for the whole on the start of the vocal, which should be around here. Beachy dreams. There we go. So this is Beachy Dreams. I'm gonna just Put the playhead right here on Beachy and then you want to drag the clip from here down there. Not from the clip list, but you want to have it from the, the viewer. So just put your mouse there and drag it right here, right below your audio. So when you zoom in, you actually see the waveforms can still extend it. This is kind of what I like about this. Um, you see the beachy dreams in the waveform here. So you have beachy dreams and you see the same in the audio. So you can just, you know, zoom in a little. Come on. I hate zooming. There we go. So you see this is not really lined up very well. So you just you know, move the video around. And I use the playhead as kind of a marker. So this can be one frame to the right. And, you know, just look for, for transients, like things that are that look close. For example, right here on the right, we have one waveform starting here. And on the video track, it's starting later, starting a little later. So this seems about right. Now to check if those are nicely in sync, you can just mute the left channel of the video and mute the right channel of the final mix down. So you're gonna hear, um, if you put headphones on, it's gonna work even better. Uh, you hear the mix down on your left ear and you hear the video on the right ear. 
So you're going to be able to tell immediately if the video is too late or too early and, you know, just move it around accordingly. But this looks about right. Um, you should hear a light flanging effect when playing it back. So there's no, no slapback delay, no, no, no echo, it's just a little louder and a little flangy, so that tells you it's gonna be very nicely in sync. And when you're done syncing up a take, you can actually go back and minimize it. Uh, zoom out a little, there we go. So our vocal take is right here on the very top and you can extend it for the whole project. So if you have a decent camera, I mean even expensive cameras have this problem, uh, but if your camera and your audio you know, hardware have a similar clock, then it's gonna be nicely in sync from beginning to end. Luckily I have a good camera that's a Panasonic SD10 um, it does have a very good clock, so if I sync it up here in one moment, it's still going to be pretty much perfectly in sync five minutes later. So, we can play it here. Actually, there's a solo. There we go. So this still works, it's nice in sync, so I'm gonna mute the video audio again, as you can see here. And when you do your cutting, you just uh, hit the razor tool, uh, put your cuts here, if you want to cut to a different instrument, you know, just slice it up, uh, delete the part, and if you want to do your fine adjustments, you just, you know, wait for this mouse pointer here, and then you can just extend the clip. It's always going to be perfectly in sync. Okay, now what happens if you have a quiet instrument um, where, or anything where you don't really see where it is uh, on the waveform? Um, in your audio software, you know, when you do a normal mix down, you have all the channels playing. But if you want to sync up your bass, for example, you know, bass guitar with a video, it's going to be very hard because bass is very slow and usually kind of quiet um, in the final mix down so you're not gonna s be able to sync it up like like it with the vocal so what you do in your audio software you just hit solo on the bass track and make a mix down of that you know the the starting point should be at exactly the same as um, the main mix down so you just mix down your bass guitar as a wave file and drag it in here. So you'll have a nice waveform. You can even, you know, mo uh, Logic has a little checkbox for um, normalizing. So you're gonna have nice and big waveform instead of something like this. So you're gonna see your bass going on, and on the video of the recording, you're probably only gonna hear um, the bass playing or the whole song, you know, depending on your monitoring setup. So you can sync up those and you know when you're done you can just delete the the bass mix down and call it a day. But that's a nice little trick to sync it up and you know keep everything um, in sync. And the cool thing is you can have as many cuts as you want without having to worry, uh, worry about sync. So you just you know drag it in pick the razor tool, make your cuts where you want it, example like this, and you know, cut back and forth, like this, same happens in your video track, which is up here, and it's gonna cut between things very nicely. So for here I just made a random cut, And there you go, that's syncing up in 10 minutes. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and you're gonna be able to um, hear the f and see the final video in a few days, I guess. I'm still editing.